Your leader, Keir Starmer, said earlier this week that Israel has the right, I'm quoting here, to withhold power and water from 2.3 million people in Gaza. Do you stand by that? Keir has been clear that international law must be followed. He's an... In, he's yeah, a human a rights lawyer. lawyer. You're, you're, a lawyer. Rights you're a lawyer too. He's I'm also asking very you to stand clear. by that statement. He's very clear in today's papers. There, have to, there has to be humanitarian access. That means access to water, to food, to medicines, and of course utilities, and there should be safe passage for people within the country. So the he's Isra absolutely crystal clear in that, in, 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 his, in his statement that's in all of the papers today. This is important. The Israelis have been equally clear that they are turning out, they have turned out the lights, they're not going to turn them back on, that they are not going to supply water. The implication of what you've just said is that you think the Israelis are wrong to do that. I'm not going to sit here as a sort of armchair general law lawyer attempting to make assessments when I'm not on the ground and this is an operational situation. It's my job, I think, to assert what I believe to be the rules of the game. This is a very serious, serious situation, but it must be done according to international law, and that means that aid has got to be there, and I, do, and I am concerned, I am concerned at the suggestion that people should evacuate hospitals. I think that that is um, incredibly unlikely for those who are very seriously injured, and humanitarian workers that put themselves in harm's way. It, oh. and, it, and, and in all war situations, those people remain, and there is still an obligation to minimise civilian casualties in those circumstances.